What's up, YouTube? Baby Bud back with another video. Um, just doing a quick update on uh, the Prelude and the Bobber all at once. Because I've been doing some work on both of them the last couple weeks. Got some work on the bike done in the last week or so. Chain's a little rusty from sitting out in the rain, same with the tank, so I'm gonna have to sand them down. But uh, I got the hardtail conversion done. So we got it all in there, welded in. And uh, the seat posts I welded on today. My welds are not the prettiest, but they're effective, I guess. Hit them with the hammer and they didn't break, so. Um, yeah, we got the hardtail in, everything welded in. Um, I tried to tack on the uh, the bracket for the rear fender, but I'm gonna have to pop the rear tire off to do that. So we got the hardtail kit in. Um, got the new electronics tank from TJ Brutal uh, and the battery box, which I'm gonna have to remove the rear tire so I can drill some holes right in there to get it mounted in. So yeah, from the first video I made, I've gotten quite a bit done. So uh, I fabbed up a coolant overflow reservoir out of this liquor bottle. Uh, I fabbed up the whole metal box and I welded a bracket on to the frame. So that's my coolant overflow. Um, I fabricated this headlight uh, bracket. Um, I bought this headlight off of eBay and the bracket was just like a universal, not a universal, but it wasn't made for the Honda bobber the shadow rather so i had to create this so i made it out of some scrap steel i had painted it up pretty happy with how it came out not too bad considering i just taught myself to weld last year um got the custom upsweep exhaust from uh forget his name his motorcycles but ps y like psycho uh on facebook so I got the dual upsweep exhaust. He's down in Texas. It cost me, I'm up here in Canada. So it cost me about like 500 bucks to have him make this and ship it up to me. Uh, what else? I put the sissy bar on from uh, TC Bros, which with the layout of the rear section of the bobber, um, the swing arm on this side actually juts out a little farther, which leaves the sissy bar kicked out to more to one side, which offsets it. So I'm actually gonna have to take that off and weld a section to make this side like an inch longer so it'll sit proper. Um, let's see, put the old, get the seat down on here. I still gotta pick up some washers and stuff and make some adjustments for the seat, but that's where we're sitting right now, so. I picked up some paint, auto, automotive paint, um, the other day, and uh, I'm going to be shooting it this weekend, hopefully, so uh, it'll be like a root beer metal flake, that's what I plan on doing, so it should look pretty cool when it's all done, and then I just got to tie up some wiring and stuff like that, and uh, paint that section of the frame, and then we should be rocking and rolling, hopefully, if I didn't screw anything up. This is my first build, so i just been kind of teaching myself as I go. So we'll see how it comes out. So that's with the rear fender not uh, mounted on. I just sat it on the tire just to show you kind of what my plan is. So that's what the bike should look like when it's all said and done, once I get that rear bracket finished. I'm pretty happy with how it's come out so far, but we'll see. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations or questions or anything like that. Um, again, this is my first build, so I'm not exactly an expert. I've just been going off of other YouTube videos I've seen, stuff like that, so... Yeah, anything, drop it down below. As for the Prelude, I've got a couple updates on the Prelude. Um, so I pulled it out of storage last week. Uh, I swapped the headlights out for the spec detuning. They're the black housing, you can see. So they're like the stock headlights, but with a black housing as opposed to chrome. I'm super pumped on those. I think they look wicked. Um, I do have 
a new front lip. As you can see, the paint's peeling on this one. I ordered the Gretti front lip, which is currently being painted. And I ordered Mugen side skirts, which are already, already done, I believe. So those should be on in the next week or a couple days. Um, I also, once I pulled it out, I put new tires on it. So I went with a 205 as opposed to the, what did I have on it before? I want to say it was a two. 225 or 235 i don't know it was a thick beefy tire i went with the firestone indy 500s um and it's got a bit of stretch on it just the way that the rim and the tire combo works so i'm pretty pleased i think it looks wicked in comparison to uh the tires i originally had on it if you go back to the first few videos i made you'll see it had these chunky tires on it so yeah i've got the new tires the new headlight housing and then i'm gonna have the new uh, lip and side skirts installed in the next couple days because i find it's got the front lip and the rear valance but it's uh it's missing on the side it looks kind of stupid so that should kind of finish it off i'm hoping make it look a little nicer um i also got i don't know if i touched on this in the rear uh last video i made but the rear section i got a vibrant performance muffler installed so it's a little more um silent it's still fairly loud but compared to the apexi can that was on it it's just a little sleeker and you don't really notice it when i'm driving down the road as opposed to the huge can that i had rocking on it before so yeah pretty happy with how the prelude's coming uh it should look pretty man when all that stuff is done but yeah that's the two projects i've had in the works the last uh, couple weeks so i got the bike both hondas i guess anyway any comments questions about the car or the bike drop them below and uh i'll be sure to get back to you thanks for checking out my stuff